Hi guys, this is Cyrus of City Hacks London crashing in on Jess's channel today. Jess is amazing. She has allowed me to stand here and share with you my top five tube hacks. Now I get it, you come to London, the tube is crazy, but with these five tube city hacks, you'll be able to travel around the tube like a Londoner. London Underground is incredibly well signposted and most of the time this is super helpful, but sometimes it's a lie that will slow you down. But Lucky for you, Cyrus is here, and Cyrus never lies. Now look, say you find yourself at King's Cross Station and you want to avoid those endless tunnels. The only sign you need to follow is the one to the Euston Road exit. This will save you loads of time on most interchanges at the station. Okay, so you're at Bank Station and you want to get from the DLR or the District Line to the Central Line. Do not follow the signs head to the Northern Line, walk along the platform through the tunnel and stairs at the end to save you loads of time. Victoria is a crazy busy London station and the Victoria Line is incredibly popular, especially during rush hour. So if you're at Victoria Station and you want to get onto the Victoria Line, what I would do is swerve the queue to the Victoria Line, head to the District and Circle Line. Once on the District and Circle platform, I would follow the signs to the Victoria Line from there. So you come to London and you are very very excited about getting on the tube. I get it, I live in London and I still love traveling by tube. But sometimes it can be quicker to walk between stations rather than get the tube. Some well-known examples of this are Embankment to Charing Cross, Leicester Square to Covent Garden and Paddington to Lancaster Gate. There are also some really helpful maps that show you the time it takes to walk between tube stations and even how many calories you'll burn. London has two travel periods, peak and off peak. During peak hours, it's crazy busy and a bit more expensive. And during off peak hours, it's more chilled and will save you a few pounds. So the best thing to do if you're visiting London and you're not in a hurry is to travel outside of peak hours, which are 6.30 till 9.30 a.m. every Monday to Friday. Now, there is one travel app that every Londoner swears by, and that is City Mapper. City Mapper is not only great for planning your journey, it is also great for telling you which tube carriage to get on, so that when your tube arrives at the platform, the doors line up with the exit you need. Londoners are obsessed with this, because there is nothing worse than having to wade through a crowded tube platform. Another great tip is that on all tube platforms, there are yellow lines. If you look at that yellow line and look at the bits that are worn out, that is where the tube doors will open. So what I would do is look for those, stand there to make sure you get on the tube first. In London, not all tube lines are created equal. Some are quicker than others, and often there can be more than one option to get to your destination. So what I would do is I would sniff out the quick lines, and the quickest lines on the London Underground are the Central, Jubilee and Victoria line. And now for the most important tip of all. If you have enjoyed this video, then head over to our YouTube channel, City Hacks London, where you will find more videos all dedicated to London. We have our top five series, we have our beginner's guides, we have even more travel hacks and even more Cyrus. So if you like it, if you like me, if you like us, head over to City Hacks London, subscribe and we'll say hello. Uh, in the meantime, please give this video a share and you can social media me one tip at a time. That, that sounds rude.